All right, in this video, I'm going to show you how to properly put in videos using the Tesseract theme and embed them into your site. So let's just say you uploaded a video to YouTube, and that's probably the best way to do this. Another way is you could upload it to Vimeo, and this would work the same way as embedding it into your site with uh, Vimeo. But let's just concentrate right now on YouTube, and I'm going to show you how to embed a video onto your site right now. So the first thing you want to do is you want to create a page and I just went to pages and then I went to a new. So I created this page and you probably already have a page right now. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and use Beaver Builder. Before I do so, I like to put mine on full width so it doesn't have the sidebars or anything like that. So let's go ahead and let's just click on page builder right now and let's go into the page builder area. And you may or may not want to put other stuff on this, like for example, a heading and whatnot. I'm just going to put a heading really quickly on this video page just to make it look semi um, okay. And I'm going to make it a little bit bigger and I'm going to center that right there and press save. There you go. So the second thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add a uh, video right here, content. And there's two ways to add a video. Don't worry, I'm going to show you both ways in this video. So I'm going to just going to drag over this right here, right where I want it here. And it's going to ask me a bunch of questions. It's going to ask me, do I want to upload my video using MP3? Now, if you have a video somewhere on your um, desktop or somewhere, like for example, I have an MP3 video right here that I did. You can't upload it to your server. It's going to uh, be a little slower loading for a lot of people and whatnot. I don't recommend that. I highly recommend you go to embed just right here. You could switch it from media library to embed and I highly recommend you embed a video. So I'm going to show you how to do that right now. With this embed feature, you actually don't have to use the whole embed code. So let me show you what I'm talking about now. So I'm going to switch over to YouTube. I'm going to find the video that I want to uh, go ahead and add. Let's just say I want to add this video of how to um, install garbage disposal. And of course, there's always these crazy commercials that I don't even care to watch. Um, and then if you go to the top right here, you could highlight this right here. So let's go ahead and let's highlight up here, this URL right up here. So I'm going to copy that by right clicking copy or command C or control C depending on your browser. Um, and then I'm going to paste that in there just like that. And what that does is that it gives a nice big video in your thing. And, um, and it looks pretty centered and nice when you save it. So that's the first option you have on making a video, something that looks like that. And what's great about this option is it's responsive, meaning it works on mobile. It's my favorite option, adding a video. Notice it like scales down really nicely and it looks really good. And it's a really good size for a video on your page. Now let's just say you wanted a smaller size. Um, there's two ways of doing that. <clears throat> let's go to the first way. I'm gonna show you how to make this into a row. So I'm gonna bring in two columns, let's just say down here. And let's just say I wanted two videos in here. Well, all I have to do is do the exact same thing and slide in that video thing into that row right there. So let me show you again what I what I just did. I went to add to content, went to videos, I dragged that thing right here in the video area, and then I switched over to embed. And let's just go pick another video. Let's go back to a, a video library here. How to install a toilet step by step. All right. And then um, I'm going to copy this URL link and I'm going to paste it in here. And then you'll see it come up right there, just like that. And so I could do the exact same thing. I'm going to do that right here in this video. And I'm going to switch it over to embed. And we're going to grab another video here. Let's just do this one really quick. I'm going to press pause. And then I'm going to put it in here. So presto, you have these little video things and then you can make more and more and more as you go, meaning you could add more rows going down right here and had a whole bunch of videos if you wanted to, if you don't want it, a big video like that. Now that's the first way to make a video. There's another way to embed a video using HTML or the text editor, whichever you prefer. I like the text editor, it's really cool. And I'm gonna show you that way right now. So I'm gonna drag the text editor Let's just drag it up here, right up here. 
And as you probably already know, the text editor is this is a video. You could put text right here, and then you could put a video down under this right here. The difference is you're going to have to add the, uh, you, you can't just add this string of code. You have to actually add the, um, the embed code. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. You could click share right here and then go down and click embed so share then embed and then they give you this embed code and they give it to you at 560 by whatever three whatever it depends on the video but they give it to you that but you could actually show more options and you can make this really big if you wanted to a thousand pixels or whatever and then all we have to do is it will ask you other questions show suggested videos well I don't want to show suggested and this is really cool because you could control what they see at the end of the video like I don't want to have them see my suggested videos okay I'm gonna uncheck that um, show player controls like yeah you could not show that or show that depends show title of the action like there's a title right here you could get rid of that title I believe and there you go it looks really clean now so that helps us get that control now I have that code with this big video size of course you could change it later by just changing the size and you could copy this right here so let's just highlight that and then let's right click and copy that and let's go into here now I can't just paste it here it will show up as code see how that shows up I have to actually go into the text so this is visual and this is the text this is where I would put the code now I'm gonna put it under this ampersand thingy I'm gonna put it right there notice how big it is though see that's just huge but you know I told YouTube Yes, I want it 1,800 uh, wide. Now I could change that and make it like 800 instead. And I could copy this and I could go right back to this code. You'll see the iframe to iframe. So it starts with the iframe here and it ends with the iframe here. I'm going to delete that. And now it's this big. And of course, you can make a custom size too. So this allows you a little bit more flexibility in terms of not showing certain things and, and so on. And then I'm going to go ahead and press save and see what it looks like. The only problem I have is I want it centered. Let's just say, hey, I, I, I want this thing centered. Well, that's okay. I could just click on this and I could highlight everything and I could center it. And, and that typically would do the trick, but in this case, it did not do the trick. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the text. Now watch very carefully. I'm going to, above where it's, uh, you see this code where this code right here the iframe code exact same code right above it I'm gonna do this little carrot symbol and then I'm gonna type in center C E N T E R and then end that carrot and then I'm under this one or at the end of this one I'm just gonna put it here carrot forward slash C E N T E R and then end that carrot and then I'm gonna press save and that should do it see how that centered that just like that so again you have to make sure you're in the text editor and all you're doing is putting this center and then the end center with the forward slash right there so you're telling the code to center all of this right here and that's what I was trying to do as you can see it says center but it didn't recognize this area so that's why you have to go into the text editor and you have to manually center it just like that and that's cool because now you don't have that title if you don't want the title and you can make it your own size and I'm gonna press done and publish changes um, one thing I wanted you to see is this one is actually better see all these these videos are actually look more scalable than this one right here you would have to add different code to make it more scalable I'm not going to get into that in this video but on these videos right here it's much more scalable so that's why I like to use the video one instead of the HTML one but it's up to you um, you could play with it at you know as you wish and that's pretty much how to make um, video um, on your page I hope you liked it